Hi, Pastor David here again with Tricia Graffelman this time, our lay leader at the church. Now, the lay leader of a local church is a very important role. And so you really help people learn about the various ministries within the church, as well as ministries that we provide to the larger community. So as lay leader of the church, Tricia, how, how do you describe what you do? Uh, well, David, I, I serve on several of our committees and teams, uh, but I also work with several small groups um, here at the church to dream up just sort of new opportunities, ideas to minister to our members here at the Heart of Longmont, as well as um, our community members just surrounding us. Um, I try to be supportive of our staff, and I lead one of the adult Sunday school classes on uh, Sunday morning. I really enjoy going to the Leadership Institute that is put on by the um, Church of the Resurrection in Kansas to try to learn about more ideas that we can bring back here to implement here at our church. So uh, you've helped us set up that prayer heart that we've got in our yard. Uh, you were instrumental in creating and distributing the Advent boxes to everyone last year. Uh, you've been a vital part of the Chef Hardy meals for the families at Wild Plum. And so I know I speak for a lot of people when I say thank you for all that you do. Well, there are so many willing servants at our church, and it is just a joy to serve beside them. Um, reaching out to others and being inclusive and brainstorming different ways that we can continue the goal of, you know, putting more of God's love into the world is, is really very rewarding. Um, we're always looking for new ideas and different people to help. And of course, I want to thank you, Pastor David, for being our fearless leader, um, for leading with love and acceptance and, you know, not only working so hard for our members, but for our community and especially, uh, these last couple of years, I know that it's, it's been really hard on you. Uh, thank you. So some of the opportunities we want to pass on to you, the viewer today are, are these, um, as we wind up our 150th year of ministry in Longmont, we're going to enjoy a sermon from one of our previous pastors, Keith Watson. That'll be coming up on Sunday, November 21st, and I'm looking forward to hearing what Keith has to share. And then uh, right after that, Advent begins the following Sunday. Advent, of course, is the four weeks leading up to Christmas, and uh, you know some people may be wondering what sort of special things that we have going for Advent. So, Tricia, what's what's on your mind? Um, well, our Adventure Sunday School adult class will be doing a four-week Advent study on, on the, like, Sunday mornings from 9 to 9.50 in the parlor, um, starting that Sunday, November 28th, which will be the first week of Advent. Um, what other special studies do you think are, you're doing one, right? That's right, that's right. So, Amy Jill Levine, has come out with a new four-week study for Advent called Light of the World. Uh, many of us enjoyed the study that Ms. Levine did on short stories by Jesus. We did that study a couple of years ago. She's a professor of New Testament and Jewish studies at Vanderbilt. And uh, being Jewish, she brings a unique perspective to the Christmas stories as told in Matthew and Luke. And if folks want to sign up now for that, they could just call the church office and get some more information. Well, what are we going to have planned for Christmas Eve this year? Uh, you know, COVID has just really forced us to change our game plans a lot. But unlike last year when COVID forced us to have all online services, this year we'll have Christmas Eve service both in person and live streamed on our YouTube channel. And so we plan to have some great special music. Our musicians are working on that, as well as a message of hope and inspiration. Oh, I am going to be looking forward to that, and I know my family is too. Uh, what else is coming up? Well, I, I want people to remember about our all-church conference, church conference, that's going to be on Zoom Saturday, December 4th uh, at one in the afternoon. It's an important time as we meet with our district superintendent, 
We elect leaders for the coming year. And this year, we're also going to approve some changes to our endowment charter, all very important. And we would love to see as many of you there as possible. We'll be sending out the Zoom link for that pretty soon. Well, all of this, and we continue to reach out to our community through our Chef Hardy Meals with Wild Plum Center. And we will be preparing another healthy meal for them the first week of December. So if anyone wants to help with that, uh, you can just let Rod Edmonds or I know. Uh, we will be supporting the Acts for Love um, through our compassion offering in November. And then in December, we will be um, supporting the Habitat for Humanity. Um, and we are also planning to share some new Advent items with the congregation towards the end of November. Um, all of this, uh, to put more of God's love into the world. And the work continues, and God blesses us here at the heart of Longmont, and I am so blessed to be a part of it. Oh, we're blessed to have you. I'm excited about this Advent season too, Tricia. It's a time when we can reflect on how we can prepare our hearts, our homes, including our church home for Christ's birth. It's a time for us to remember through prayer, reflection, music, good deeds, what the true meaning of Christ's birth is. And it's a time for us to prepare to be more Christ-like in all that we do. A time, as you say, to put more of God's love into the world, not just during the season of Advent, but in 2022 and for the next 150 years. So Tricia, thanks so much for all that you do for our congregation. Uh, and God bless all of you watching this video. You are a blessing to others as well. Thank you, David.